Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Buzzer. That's right, the first of the Dreadnoughts, if you don't count Zorana and Zartan, but I guess you guys got to kind of get count them but these are the actual dreadnoughts so anyway here we are bbts got them they're the only place that's gotten them so far so we're gonna take a look at this we're gonna open it up and then i'm gonna cancel my buzzer on <laughs> hasbro pulse before i get charged for it so anyway let's take a look at it and here we have the wonderful artwork again there you have buzzer we've got his awesome chainsaw he's got some drums in the back is that foreshadowing something else possibly uh, we got the artwork here. We got everything that he comes with right there. Number 106. Can you, can you believe we're up to 106 figures? Actually, there's a few more if you're considering some of the double, the dual packs and triple packs. That doesn't sound right. Two packs, three packs. <laughs> um, come with multiple figures. So, and here we have the back of it. Uh, he stands at 6 inches and 6.2 inches. Again, I absolutely love that. I hope they do keep that when they go to the plastic packaging again. Here we have his chainsaw, his little weapon that he had before, his baseball bat with two saw blades uh, attached to each other, a pistol, a knife, he's got his little tattoo. Again, awesome. There you have the QR code if you want to lead to some website, but we know it doesn't do anything. So anyway, we're going to take a look at this guy, classified version. We're going to compare him to my original O-ring. That's right, this is my original figure, if you can believe that. Um, but anyway, let's stop looking at all of this and the box, because who wants to look at a box? And let's see how this figure looks on the inside. But before we do, if you like the content that I'm giving you, take a second, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, and hit that like button. I did that out of order, but hey, you got it. Like, subscribe, bell. Let's look at this. All right, out of his plastic free prison, and here we have, again, the wonderful artwork. The coffin is what Lenny said that he calls it. Uh, if you haven't checked out my interview with Lenny go ahead go over there check it out you get to meet the actual man but he does talk a little bit about G.I. Joe we don't get into too much stuff so anyway uh I think this looks awesome as action figs likes to say give us some uh, <laughs> uh posters of that stuff so anyway here we have the upside down Cobra the upside down 106 but then the neck buzzer is right side and same as this 106 again if you wonder why we say that it's because the handle is here and this is how you would obviously pick it up, but buzzer is upside down, and so is the Cobra symbol, but we don't care about that. We care about the figure, which is here. Just got to kind of stand them up like so. And let's take a look at the weapons here. All right, so here is the chainsaw, and let's just first, let's just see, is it straight? That's pretty straight. I'm not going to have too many complaints. I guess you can see it's on a little bit of an angle. It is soft. Again, I don't have an issue if it's soft and pliable like this, if it goes back to where it's supposed to be. But looking at this thing here, the, the links on the chainsaw are painted. So it has some nice look to it right there. They made it the same color. Oh, it's a different, it's a different color. It looks like these two pieces probably attach. But you have the handle here where he's going to hold it. So he's going to be able to hold it just like this. And you're going to have a lot of fun doing some great dioramas with this guy. Again, this thing looks pretty awesome. Does it look like a regular chainsaw? I don't know. I don't have a chainsaw. But compared to his OG one, it's definitely going to be different because one was made in the 80s and one is made for what a chainsaw looks like now. But they did keep the they kept the wheel at the front there. That's going to keep it turning. They gave it some texture there, so it looks like it's actually able to spin. But I think it looks awesome. I like it. It doesn't bother me. Again, it's flexible. I don't care if it's pliable like this. It's just when it's completely bent and won't move back to where it's supposed to be. Here's his next one, and this one has a little bit of a bend to it. Again... Kind of disappointing, but again, if it's going to come back to where it needs to be, I can deal with that. So we have a baseball bat, 
with a circular saw blade that looks like it's been cut in half, or maybe they're just using two. And he mounted it onto this baseball bat with also a post. Negan, eat your heart out. Um, this thing looks pretty sweet. Again, I wish it was a little bit harder. You can see how it flexes. My worry would be if it stays in a position like this, it's going to start to sag. But looking at this here, the handle has what's supposed to be, I would assume, tape. I would assume that is like duct tape. That's why it's silver. And then the blades are silver, which is the color of most circular saw blades. And then whatever this contraption is that he made. And I do wonder what this is at the top. It's probably something that maybe someone can tell me what it is. Because I would obviously assume it's made so he, can, if he attacks someone, he can smash, his, smash it into them. But just looking at how they did this, I would assume that is something that is realistic. Here we have this weapon. Let me pull this weapon out here. Now, as you can see, it does not have the backpack with the gas tank. So I guess he's probably using an electric one. <laughs> I'm sure someone is going to complain that he doesn't have the backpack, so he's not the original OG. So I'm glad they gave this weapon. And as you can see, it is pretty much the same. It has the links up here that's going to hold it together. The handle has a... Uh, just a little bit of paint apps to it. I like the fact that the chain's not completely straight, so it actually will make it look like it's moving. Funny thing is, this thing may, seems harder than some of the weapons that they had, <laughs> or stiffer, shall I say. But all in all, look at that. The chain looks pretty good. Having a real chain on it, which we know uh, some companies have done, that would have been kind of cool, but I don't mind something like this because it is made to look like it's kind of in a moving motion. Here we got his pistol. Again, a little bit of tape around it, so you got some paint apps to it. It does look nice. It has the uh, port for the blast effects, if you do so choose to use those. But a small pistol, which is something he was surely missing, any type of weapon, uh, with our O-ring figure. And here we have the knife, just a small little paint app. Small little knife. I, I like to have maybe a little bit bigger knives but nothing too big, but I'm glad they do do the uh, uh, the blade in a different color so it doesn't look just kind of stupid. And here we have the glasses. Now, this is what worries me because glasses seem to be an issue. Now, looking at them here, they do be, they, they do be, they do be seem, seem shamed. They do seem to be shaped like regular glasses. Now, how well will I hold on? Will I need to use some sticky tech? My guess is probably yes. But just looking at them here, I think they look really nice. They're not silver like they had here, but I think this kind of makes more sense. They're rounder than what, his, what he was wearing here. But all in all, they don't look bad. Now let's get to the figure. And let's quickly, this is right out of the box. So let's see if there's any issues with him. So right away, T-pose. Neck moves back up and down, back and forth. You do have the neck moves simultaneously. Not a, not a huge look, but a huge move. Does have the ponytail pulled back. You got your bicep swivel. Pinless double elbows. Again, no issues. You got your... Whew, sorry. That's what happens when you do this all in one take. Your little wrist, uh, <laughs> wrist swivel. This joint does move up and down. Where this one here, uh, the right one moves up and down also. So both moving in the same direction. It does have the ab crunch and a little loose. But again, I'll mention this again. Uh, the Firefly was really loose. This one is a little loose, but he's on a ratchet system. So this is where he's going to stay anyway. So you don't have a problem standing him, as you can see. I'm able just to stand him just like that. His Jean-Claude Van Damme is really nice. Drop down hips. Something that has creeped up. Some people have mentioned it. I don't ever point up. So this is how far they can sit perfectly fine. 
and I guess they can go back. I don't really do that because once you can do the Jean-Claude, you really don't have too many issues going the other way. Hate drop down hips. So his thigh, okay, a little bit of usage there, a little bit of moving there. Be careful. All right, so you just gotta get it moved. Now they have pinned the pin legs, which tells me these are probably used on a different mold, considering they've gone completely pinless. So that would mean they're using the same legs as someone else. If someone knows who they are, please feel free to tell me. I have so many figures lying around here. Uh, I don't really go through them all to try and figure out who they are. I guess just look for the striations right there. Boot cut, ankle rockers, all right, so there we have his articulation. Now let's take a look at this figure without his glasses on, and then we'll start comparing them to our O-ring. But let's first, we gotta look at the, uh, the face sculpt. So looking at this here, I gotta say, first glance, it looks absolutely awesome. I don't see any paint apps where they're not supposed to be. His hair is pulled back. I've heard people say that he looks like Duke. Uh, he does not look like D. Snyder uh, when you get it in person. Maybe once I put the glasses on, he will. But I think this face sculpt looks really, really good. Uh, the teeth, eh, kind of weird. But that's how they're supposed to look. Uh, it looks more like he's wearing a, a mouthpiece of some sort. But the eyes look really good. I don't see any issues with the paint apps. Hair looks good. Ponytail with a little uh, green rubber band. I think they were called scrunchy. <laughs> All right. So, quickly. Oh, uh, you know what? So, the teeth is a direct. <laughs> if you look at the mouth there, it is, re it is recreating what the O-ring had. This guy has a big old head, doesn't he? Um, but he's kind of doing the same thing in the O-ring. So, no glasses, so you're looking at this here. You have the same grenades, the smoke grenade and the regular grenade that the O-ring had. Dog tags that are sitting here. Uh, he's got a little uh, star here. What he is missing is the piece on the top, but I'm sure they left that off on purpose. And once again, you have your, uh, your pockets. <laughs> belt buckle i like the skull which is a it deviates from what they did with the o-ring but it does have the same silver belt buckle that goes around now they did give him the crotch piece which he doesn't really have here but if you do look i can't i haven't looked at too many gi joe crotches doing these reviews you can tell it looks very similar to where it protrudes out getting here to the thighs rather than embedding and making a mold of new legs they made new new pieces that look the exact same as what the o-ring had so you have this black piece that's supposed to go over it and it's just wrapped up but if you want to take these off you're able to take these off he does have the brown boots and they put the little uh circle here which it had it kind of on the heel right there but everything looks very, very similar. Unfortunately, it looks like my tattoo, which I don't even remember, has worn off. So he has it over here. So I'm not even sure if it's the exact same one, but it's got a snake with a little sword that runs through it. They did give him gloves, which is good. He's a biker. And if you look, that is his forearm hair, which actually does come off looking really well. And on this side here, he has what I believe is a Cobra symbol. They gave him a watch instead, which I do believe is reused to someone. But again, I like that. And then rather than have this go across here, this way, it just runs straight down and clamps onto his belt. So there you go. Now what we're going to do is arm him. Throw that bad boy in there. Knife goes in the sheath. 
we throw the chainsaw on them really quickly, see how well it fits. Now, looking at this guy, I would say these are Zayma and Tomax's hands. I'm not positive, but I think it is because they're the only ones that have two that are kind of broken up. Uh, maybe some of the ninjas do too. That way they can hold multiple uh, knives and stuff like that. So there's that. So it does have a trigger finger, which he doesn't really need on some of the stuff because he has his chainsaw. But how easy can we get this on here? And especially with it being straight. So really you're gonna be holding this like you hold the mini guns or I believe Roadblock's first crazy fork gun that he has. Now these things aren't that easy to pose here. Just trying to get it in here. Especially this is doing all first hand, which is what I like to do. And I know some of you may be bored watching this and I do apologize. So I'm only gonna struggle with this for a little bit, a few more seconds. If I can't get that to pop in there, then you're gonna just do it on your own and you'll see it in the pictures that I do. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder to get into a good pose with this just because of how his hands actually fit. So there you go. That's how he looks with the chainsaw. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the glasses in a minute. I do think he looks absolutely awesome. And I do think you're gonna get some wonderful poses, wonderful shots with this guy. So now let's take a look at this. See how the glasses actually fit on there. And as you can see, I'm just kind of, well, I guess they don't fit too bad. I mean, I'm definitely gonna put some sticky tack on there if I wanna keep them on there, because if this guy falls off your shelf, those things are gonna go shooting and God knows where they're gonna end up. But as you can see, they don't fall off them. But I definitely would worry that if he falls off your shelf and he hits the wrong spot, it's going to go boom. But comparing the two, I mean, this guy has a big jaw, just a big head. But I got to say, man, this buzzer is outstanding. Just first, again, first half hour having him out. Actually, first 15 minutes having him out. Then here's his other weapon. I'm going to throw this down here. Yeah, we just. Now this is extremely soft, so I'm not a big fan of how this is. As you can see there, I knocked down the glasses. I will say this, with glasses like this, you can do some amazing photography of someone punching them and just kind of not knocking the glasses off, but knocking them off cockeyed. And of course, with this chained weapon that he has, it doesn't really matter if that moves too much. But... It doesn't look bad. And again, I didn't have to heat it up. I just kind of pushed it back to where it needed to be. I do think that they need to be a little bit tighter. I think the glasses are going to be one of those things you kind of, kind of struggle with. Um, again, looking at it straight on, it looks kind of weird. Because they just don't really fit the face. And especially if you have glasses and wear glasses, uh, you know how they, they fit you for them. So... There you go. That is your buzzer. And if I miss anything, tell me in the comments. All right, so my first thoughts of this classified buzzer is that I think he's actually a really good figure. I think they still need to fix some of the issues that they have with glasses and just how you can make them fit properly and look properly. It doesn't look bad, but again, the front of them seem to be too, too small. The weapons are soft, but again, they seem to bounce back to where they pretty much need to be, so I'm not going to complain too much. I would like them to be a little bit harder. I don't understand why we still have pinned and non-pinned joints together, but it's not a deal breaker for me, especially considering his jeans are all the exact same color. But other than that, he looks awesome. The face sculpt, I think, is one of the best. Uh, just quickly looking at him, I had no issues with the paint. Again, the mouth seemed wrong until you looked at the original buzzer and you're like, yep, that's how he, 
that's how he actually looks. So there it is. That is the first impression of the G.I. Joe Classified Buzzer. All right, so there you have it. That is the G.I. Joe Classified Buzzer. I uh, just got this guy in from BBTS. I'm not sure if he's still available or not. I will post links to my Amazon affiliate and my Entertainment Earth affiliate down in the description. If so, you aren't in a rush to get it and you want to help support the channel. So anyway, I am going to get out of here. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. If you like what I'm doing, hey, take a, take a second on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, follow me over there, especially on Instagram. I'm always on there doing stuff. And last but not least, again, if you like the content that I'm giving you, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a G.I. Joe video. And as we know, there's still a bunch of G.I. Joes to come, like the rest of this wave and the Crimson 3-pack and Chuckles and uh, the dude with the mind guy. Do -do 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 I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just talking. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Tripwire, that's the name. That's what happens when you do things. One take. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Take a second. Don't leave. You stayed this long. You like the content that I'm giving you. Up here, I'm going to put the Viper up here. And over here is going to be the rest of the classified playlist of all the G.I. Joes that I have reviewed. Even the really bad ones. Take care.